Hi uh, folks, welcome back to the channel. We're out again. Obviously, if you've been watching the updates on Facebook, I've been tending to want to go and do a paranormal again. And obviously, I don't know what it is. Something has drawn me back to the place. So, I'm not saying I'm psychic or anything. It's just a feeling that I've got. So, obviously, being on the paranormal database, uh, there's meant to be hauntings of a white lady, one of three phantoms, a spirit of a dog, a little boy, a stonemason, and there's supposed to be residual energy of a battle, so you're meant to hear screams and stuff. But, as we'll do, we'll check it out to see what we can bring you. And obviously, here with Frankie once again. So, we'll just get straight into it. Check back in shortly. Go set the scene, passing the gra graveyards once again. Should, hopefully, some of you might remember this area. As you know, we check in along the way as usual. So, you can tell me at what point you actually realise that you notice where it is. So, as you know, we'll check on in the way. Check back in shortly. Well, folks, it looks like they have done a bit of work here. Because when we came, it was all overgrown the last time. So, yeah, it was. So, yeah, it's all clear now. Don't know if you'll notice it or what. But, yeah, at least it's a bit of a clearer walk this time. But, coming in this horrible weather, you get all muddy. So, as we'll do, we'll just make our way through as safely as possible. And obviously... <laughs> yeah. Well, at least we know this time we know exactly where we're going. And... Yeah. Obviously, we'll just check along in a bit. There'll be some telltale signs where we are. And we'll, so, hopefully you pick up before we tell you. Check back in shortly. There we are folks, check this for a bath. See it a lot better than the last time, considering. What? See it a lot better than the last time. Yeah. Obviously, being in the wet, you need to go down slow or you'll slip. Right, yeah. I'm, speaking camera, I'm speaking to the camera, Frankie. Oh, really? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Through the road all the way down the bottom there. Oh, oh I think that's the river. Ah, yeah, yeah, it is the river. Just because the other side of the road there, I've seen a car. Mm. Oh, it's getting squidgy. Hopefully we didn't slip getting up there. Now I'm going to stop, just in case. <laughs> Check back in, folks. No, we didn't see this the last time. Well, I did tree. Probably somewhere where birds will go. To Hibernate. Well, when they say birds, maybe squirrels. Obviously the birds fly away. Actually a digger in that field. Yeah, at least we've got some steps coming up at the moment. So just thought I would show you that. And the landscape here. Oh it's brilliant. Speak to you shortly. There we are folks. You've seen that before. Obviously, we'll be passing it in a bit. Because I think this one will be a two-parter because we can't get out much soon to film as much as we'd like. So hopefully we do the trick and make it a two-parter for you. Check back in, folks. There we go, folks. We're coming to the split in the road as we did the last time. So that means we're not too far away. Which is good. We're just taking it slow because it is slippy. And obviously when we go too fast we do tire ourselves out a bit. So we need to be careful. We've got a wee stream coming down there because of the water. So we've got enough time before it gets dark today, so 
that's why we allowed ourselves the time so we're not rushing and tying ourselves out. As you see, came to the road and we'll slip down into the corner there. So check back in shortly folks. There we go, we came to these other steps, the steep ones. So we need to take it one by one. <sighs> so we're not rushing ourselves and we're not going to slip. Which is key, you've got to keep safe whilst you're out in the wilderness. Well, it's not quite that wilderness, but <laughs> at the end of the day, it's an old battlefield that served in battle, and obviously, it's supposed to hold spirits, residual energy, so we'll find it. Right, I'll check back in these at the bottom. Well, folks, we have not missed this, this smell. <laughs> I, can't smell it. I can smell a twinge in the air, obviously. Oh, it is yeah, a sewage plant. <laughs> so, yeah, obviously, we haven't missed that. But still, regardless, I think it's weird going through the woods and stumble upon this, even though it's the second time stumbling on it. But, as it is, we'll keep going, and if you notice where we are, you'll know we're not too far away. So, check in folks, in a short bit. There we are folks, we're on this bit of a familiar path. Hopefully, some of these recognise it. I don't know, I'm feeling a bit weird. I've never felt like this the last time walking down here. Maybe it is the factor that we are coming to actually try and contact something. I don't know. End of the day. That's why it's called an investigation. We'll come and see what we can see. That's about it. Parts of some ruins there. Right, folks, what we'll do is I'll not confirm the place right now, I'll just keep going, and once we come to the sign, there we go. But I reckon some of you would have guessed by now. So we'll keep pushing on down this path till we come to the sign. feeling colder than I originally was to be honest. I don't know, it's probably just the weather anyway so I can't account it as something. Right folks, I'm just going to compose my thoughts for a wee bit and then we'll start recording again once we hit the sign. 
So we'll check back in a wee bit. Well, folks, <laughs> obviously nature called for myself and actually went up a hill and I seen that I was too visual. So I came back down and slid right down. That's another thing that I wanted to check in with you is obviously there's reports of people having a lot of accidents up here and obviously due to the fact people have died up here but there's, I think from within the last 10 to 20 years there's other people that's actually died up here as well so it's amazing, I didn't know about half of the accidents slash deaths that were recent so yeah, I just thought we'd add that in as well I guess because it's obviously very easy because it's slippy yeah. when it's like this type of weather it's very easy to and obviously there's a lot of dog walkers here who let off their dog for a couple of years back there's quite a lot in the news of dog walkers needing to keep their dogs early yeah 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 it's a glen obviously some of them were getting trapped fire uh, brigade has to come out and stuff so yeah yeah so well, a lot of the ones that i was reading on there's a lot of people on sorry a lot of people on bikes have been accidents and the cars and stuff like that and motorbikes mm -hmm. so obviously the roads up here they're all they're winding around well right in through the glen itself so the roads can be a wee bit dangerous itself especially if you've got boy races yeah or races in general <coughs> just like to take the mick and speed as we do we'll just keep it on going we're not that badly hot obviously i just needed to walk it off and i was fine probably feel it later but hey ho we're still going to be honest I'd like to add to be honest before that actually happened um obviously walking along i was getting a weird weird feeling somehow don't know why but uh, obviously that happened so don't know what makes you think but hey ho it's rock and roll Take something over the back there. Where is it? Not yeah, well, we'll say that we heard something that was a big. I wouldn't say it's much of a tree knock, you know, but a big log or a big bit of wood hitting off something. But I don't know. I don't know saying. To be honest, if you can't witness it yourself, you can't really see say what it is. You can only go with the sound. So, as you can see, folks, we're coming up to the wee sign. There we are folks, I'm sure you have guessed it already. We've came back. I don't know why something is pulling me back, but if there's anything we'll find it out. And obviously, having that weird feeling when I was in the last time, obviously, a lot of skeptics will probably say, oh, it could be explainable. But then again, I looked at the obvious, and to be honest, you can tell, obviously, when you've had spirit, uh, either connected you or crossing your path obviously it isn't it just a normal cold breeze or anything like that it's like a static kind of feeling so well then again obviously as I say we'll provide the evidence you just decide at the end of the day we're not telling you to believe it we're just saying here's the evidence that we've caught
what do you think? So let's walk down a little bit. <laughs> Sorry folks, it's just a big splash on my phone. So we're trying to keep dry as well. Right, what we'll do, we'll just obviously we've got a wee bit to go, so we'll cut the now and we'll come back. We didn't want to waste too much film because we're doing a two-parter, obviously. We want to see if we can investigate a bit more ourselves. So we'll need to leave some film for that, just with storage and stuff. So check back in shortly. There we are, folks. We are back. To be honest with the day and stuff like that, we're not going to jump in between that. We're not going to make it difficult for ourselves. We'll just do what we can as we're here. Obviously, this is just obviously a test. See if we can get part of normal activity during the day here. And if it lives up a bit, we shall return at night when we have better transport. Yeah, Frankie's in for a test, so we'll see what happens. We'll keep you updated. Keep your fingers crossed for me. <laughs> coming up with the same bit. All we're going to do is just basically walk straight through and then we'll get to the wee building and we'll start from there and work our way back towards the castle. Obviously we're just going to try and do it as quick as possible just due to the weather but obviously we need to allow time for investigating as well so we'll do what we can with the time that we have. Hopefully we come up with some evidence because that's what we're here for. So folks have taken my time with these steps. They obviously carry an umbrella as well. <laughs> It's funny how that just kind of shifted and I felt like it got colder when she walked in here. End of the day with all these rocks, plus the rain, plus the water. All of these are meant to be conductor for spiritual energy, so... and for manifestations. So... You'll probably already know this, people that are into the paranormal. Obviously there might be people that's just here for the simple fact of exploring, but to be honest as it says in the name of Real Unknown Adventures, so paranormal in my perspective is part of the adventure as well. Here, it's starting to get a bit. Of, starting to get a bit of mist coming in you now. I don't know if these can pick up. You can see it floating in behind us. I don't know if he's picking it up. Oh, look at that down there. <laughs> Looks like it's set for a haunting. Some scene. Yeah, well, it's got the grip as on it as well, so at least it has some grips.
Ja, ja, doch. Wow. Until we get the wee bridge and we'll get a picture of the waterfall that's created. Didn't notice it last time, I think it's just because it's a wet season. Well, really wet season. That's always a wet season in Scotland. Yeah, you see it. Yeah, I can see it on the camera, you should be able to see it. Right there. Isn't that a picture? What the hell's that sound? Holy crap! Thunder! If you could hear that, could put it in the comments. That was weird. Sounds like it's coming from up over there. I don't know, it sounds like it stopped now. Did you hear that? It sounded like it was thunder or banging or something like that. I don't think it was drums. To be honest, thinking of the battle of okay. Rosalind, I didn't think they actually had cannons back then, at that time. So, it's still happening, whatever it is. No. I don't know, folks, end of the day, it's just weird. The Battle of Rosalind happened when there wasn't any cannons, so... Can I see it being residual energy? I don't know. Maybe it's thunder that's coming, I don't have a clue. Well, well at the end of the day, that's supposed to heighten the spiritual energy. Yeah, we're going up the steps. As I say, we've got to start to the back bit. Oh, for God's sake. There's <laughs> people walking over there. <laughs> Thank God it's people. Well, to be honest, it'd be cool if it was spiritual. Alright folks, we'll take a wee short break, then we'll be inside that wee building again. There we are folks, we are back. Stick this light on as well. So the torches on the grate. Probably need a Probably need a battery change. Obviously. Still see as much as possible. We are back. <laughs> to be honest, it feels bigger than it did when I first came in. Well, let's see if what I felt the last time is paranormal. Right. I think, folks, what we'll do is we'll just turn it around. Hopefully, you can see me. We'll just get the radio out and see what we can do. 
So we'll pass it on to Frank. Yeah. spirit box obviously the spirit box obviously it's basically a radio but with automatic sweeping settings where well, this turn down radio is just doing it manually so obviously it's near enough the same thing so we'll just have a go as I felt we got some results in um, Greyfire's cut card so here we go anybody near that they like to come and talk because we have read that this place is haunted so just come forth say hello we'd just like to have a wee chat with you and obviously see if there's any evidence we can that you can help us with with our afterlife so just come forth and say hello Point out the mist on the camera is just me breathing. Oh. Yeah. Come on, come forth. I mean, you're. You speak this device, you'll be able to pick your voice up. Scared. Just come and say hello. I'm not here with any other thing. Point out as well, folks, is there'll be a lot of drips in the background just due to obviously it's raining. Right, come on, come forth. I'm just here to talk to you. speak to us and your voice should relay over this device we just want to communicate with you that's all 
So if you can come forth and say hello or I'm here. I'm really bad pain some of it. Right, if you're the one that said help, please come forth and say it more clearer so we can actually hear it properly. Say that I'm here if you're here. Right. right, folks, I think we're so I think my batteries are going, so I am going to change batteries. We'll cut here just now, and then obviously we'll return. Right, folks. Uh, Sounds like the batteries need to change, so here we go. Let's see him again, come <coughs> off and speak. I must be so out of focus. Is it? Yeah, oh, it's just not going back. No, it's not going back into it's quite as messy. Yeah, well, it's focus now. And then, if you're the one that said help, come and say yeah. help again. to try and talk through the day 
it might be easier trying to pick up an EVP if they're talking. You never know, we can only try. So, as we know, just start as normal. EVP session, try and kill William at Rosalind Glen. We'll just say the wee brick house. So if there's anybody here, can you please come forth, say hello, or say I'm here. Excuse me, sorry. Or if you're the one that says help, can you say clearly help? We're here for you. If you have any messages, can you leave it on this device? Stop there. No, it should be. There we go, we've got the volume up. EVP session, Frank and William, and Rosalind Clay. I'll just say the wee brick house. So if there's anybody here, you please come forth, say hello, or say I'm here. If you're the one that says help, can you say clearly help? We're here for you. If you have any messages, can you leave it on this device? Nothing, there's just a lot of dripping. We'll get another shot. Obviously we could. Well, all the uh, evidence that we apparently have got, obviously I've not seen them, I've only read up on them, so there's maybe just the off chance that they've probably seen these things, uh, maybe nobody's came up and tried to make contact with them, so they may find it difficult, obviously, because it could be their first time, I don't know, but we'll give it another shot. Frank and William again, Rosalind Glenn. The wee brick house to We're not here with any ill intent, we're just here to learn about you. We understand that it may have been a long time before anybody's tried to speak to you. So please come forth. And just speak to us as simple as hello or if you don't like us and you want us to leave tell us to leave we understand a battle took place here could you have participated in this battle Save. Mm. Record and Frank and William again, Rosalind Glenn, the wee brick house, two. We're not here with any ill intent, we're just here to learn about you. We understand it may have been a long time before anybody's tried to speak to you. So please come forth, just speak to us as simple as hello 
or if you don't like us and you want us to leave, tell us to leave. We understand a battle took place here. Could you have participated in this battle? Not really hearing much. Would they want more folks in more head into what would have been the main building of the the plant itself? The gunpowder mill, sorry. Frankie and William again, Rosalind Glen, the wee brick house, number three. Oh, sorry, that was just me yawning. So if you can hear our voice, please come forth and speak to us. I only want to learn about you. Because if you can try your hardest to speak as loud as possible, this device in my hand will allow your voice to be recorded and therefore we'll be able to communicate with you. So if you have anything to say, please say it now. You can use our energy if you need to speak. As we say, we're not here to harm you or any ill intent. Obviously, we're just here to make contact with you. So even if you can maybe leave your name or uh, just a short message, just to let us know that you still reside here. Frankie's yawning again. So if you can hear our voice, Deep breath. please come forth okay. and speak to us. I only want to learn about you. Because if you can try your hardest to speak as loud as possible, this device in my hand will allow your voice to be recorded. And therefore, we'll be able to communicate with you. So if you have anything to say, please say it now. As we say, we're not here to harm you or any ill intent. Obviously, we're just here to make contact with you. So even if you can maybe leave your name, or 
uh, just a short message just to let us know that you still reside here. the breaths again to be honest folks I know that sometimes when I'm walking and stuff like that I kinda, I've got heavy breathing but even listening to that back and even me remembering me speaking there I didn't sound out of breath or anything to be honest but I could be wrong at the end of the day if we pick something up we can only provide it and you can say what you think so we'll have a wee listen to that bit Rosalind Glen, the wee brick house, number three. Frankie again. So if you can hear our voice, please come forth and speak to us. I only want to learn about you. That was it. Uh, so if you can try your hard. Fuller on, it sounds like there's a wee one, but to be honest, could be nothing, it could be precisely myself, to be honest. You can see on camera, it's up to you to decide what you feel. At the end of the day, I think it was just trying to copy Frankie because she was yawning, to be fair. But we Got can only say back. what we think. At the end of the day, we're not leading you on to believe anything. It's up to you is what you believe. So we'll cut there just now and we will check back in shortly. All right, folks, we're just holding off the new, obviously. It's just getting a wee bit past lunchtime now, so there's still people out for a walk, so we're just giving them their time, obviously, bits where they're looking at, and then obviously let them go on, and then we'll go down, see what we can grab for around the walls of the actual, what I believe it'll probably be the, the gunpowder mill actual building where they actually done stuff, so. It's still standing as you've seen before in the Rosalind Glen part one. So they never know. They maybe catch the residual or whatever. But as I say, obviously I've got to review everything. Never know. If I've missed anything in editing and reviewing, obviously as I've said before, just pop it in the comments. And then obviously I'll try and go back over it. So hopefully it's not too long and then we'll get down to the actual mall bit check back in shortly folks. Hey folks, obviously we had to get a wee while there is. Coming after lunch, family's coming through so it's like we've got a wee quiet period so obviously I'm going to try and balance this umbrella <laughs> and the spirit box. So let's see what we come up here. Hopefully it's a little bit better than what we have because it looked like there isn't really anything coming over but here we go. If there's anybody here, would you come forth and speak to this device? Oh, Come forward and say hello. Okay. Hi. 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 Anybody here says it's supposed to be haunted, so come forth and try and speak. Come 
and then come forth. I know here we're with an L intent, but just here to communicate with you. We'll go around the other side, we'll cut just here just now and see if we can pick anything up here. Right folks, they're on the other side, so we'll just give it a go. Let's see what they're getting pulled up now. Right, we'll go around the other side. Right, we'll go around the other side. Does anybody from the other side a spirit? Or if you may not know, if there's anybody here, can you come forth and speak into this device? Even just say hello. Just come forth, don't be shy. Come forth and speak. Come forth and prove that this place is haunted. All the reports are true. Dave, it's on 10%. Yeah. Your phone's on 10%. Yeah, okay. right, folks, so I'm going to just wrap this part up. We'll give you a wee minute, we'll get sorted, then we'll speak to you in a second. Yeah, folks, right, to be honest, I don't believe there's a lot we've captured or anything like that. To be honest, you maybe see stuff in editing, or you might see something and obviously you see this. To be honest, this is a realisation, obviously, in doing paranormal. To be honest, I just want to give you a real concept on how it is as well. Not every time you go out, you're going to capture, or it might take a while, or... Some people might say it's because it's during the day, but then again, not all, not all paranormal uh, documentations come from at night time. So, to be fair, we can only come see what it is. Maybe 
it's this part of the glen that's maybe not as haunted or whatever. To be honest, now we're heading to the castle, but that'll be in part two. So maybe that's maybe where the residual energy will pick up due to the battle. I don't know. But as it is from this one, it's come to the end of the video. Just apologise for the lack of evidence. Can only go with what we get. That's about it. So I'd like to say thanks for coming to the end of the video and take care.